Hey everybody, um, figured I'd do a quick review on two things that I carry with me when I ride um, with our group. I, I, I believe having these two items is a must. Um, it's gotten me, these two items have gotten me out of quite a few pinches. Um, anybody with, you know, obviously an ATV, dirt bike, uh, side by side, even, even a car. I mean, even driving on the road, these two items are really, really good to have and they're fairly inexpensive. Both these items are damn near five star, uh, review rated on Amazon. Um, and they're like I said, they're fairly they're fairly inexpensive. Um, the first one is a portable jump pack, um, which is a portable battery that you know that you charge up. Um, you can jump your car, you can jump you know your ATV, your tractor for that matter, your riding mower. Uh, that thing has gotten me out of quite a few jams. Um, I know I was riding, I used to have a Yamaha Warrior, and I was having battery issues with that. Um, and I was out in the middle of the woods, I was actually riding by myself. And something happened that I ended up shutting the, the you know, the ATV off, not realizing. I'm like, oh man, now I gotta restart this, I hope it starts. It didn't. Luckily, I had my battery pack with me, I was able to hook up the battery, jump it, and go. Now... You know, if you have a dirt bike or a four wheeler or an ATV or, you know, whatever with a manual clutch, um, you could probably, you know, jump or bump start it. But most of the machines today that are out there, um, you can't, you, you need a battery, uh, you know, you, you need a battery to obviously start the, start the machine. So the one thing that I'm going to cover is this product, um, and it is a little dirty, uh, you know, it sits in my my uh my box that is you know my storage box on my, on my atv um but this is called the uh the thor 1000 and it's probably backwards sorry um this thing is amazing and <laughs> for 49 dollars, this thing i charged it it takes probably about maybe two hours to fully charge um it does have Let's see here. It does have a few USB ports here. Um, if I pull this over further, there's the charging one. Obviously, it's a micro. Uh, it'd be better if it was USB C, but beggars can't be choosers, I guess. And then there's also a USB out port that you can charge, you know, your phone, your laptop, whatever you know you have with you on the road or on the trail. And then these are the ports that this plug here. <clears throat> which will go to, excuse me, which will obviously connect to your battery, car battery, your ATV battery, side by side, whatever. Um, that's what that's for. So, but the cool thing about this is I charged this probably a month ago. I've probably ridden two or three times with it bouncing around in the back of my ATV in the storage box. I had it in a cardboard box um, that it came with. And right now, if I turn it on, it has three bars. So here are the bars, okay? Obviously when it's four, it's fully fully charged. Um, this will stay charged without even using it for months. I can say that this thing is so amazing that it has 600 uh, cranking amps, which I know a lot of people are like, yeah, okay, that little battery, yeah, whatever. Uh, I had a Mustang GT that was the newer Coyote five liter motor, um, high compression. It required 490 cold crank amps to turn that engine over. It sat in my garage, you know, um, it was a casual car and battery died. So I had to get the car out of the garage and use this. And I'm like, there's no way this thing's going to crank that engine over. It did. It cranked it over. I couldn't believe it. Fired right up. Didn't hesitate. Nothing. I actually used it twice 
to obviously get the car out of the garage and then restart it and put the car back in the garage. Um, eventually, I ended up replacing that battery. So this thing is amazing. I have jump started multiple four wheelers with this. I've jump started my lawn mower, my yeah, my riding mower with this. Um, and this is something that's so small that you know you can literally fit. I'm looking for something to compare it to. So here's a GoPro GoPro battery. Okay, that's how thick it is. So it's not very thick at all. Um, it's not very big at all. It can fit in a backpack. I mean, today you could probably. I mean, I wouldn't want to put it in my pants, but. You know, you never know if something would happen to the battery. I wouldn't really necessarily want it next to me, but um, I don't think that would be an issue, though. The other cool thing it has is if, you know, let's say you have this in your car, um, you're stranded on the side of the road. It also has a flashlight. Call me a liar. There you go. So there's the flashlight. It has features that it can blink. So obviously, if you're standing on the side of the road and it's nighttime, you want cars to see you. It has different modes. There's a strobe. So it's actually pretty cool. Um, so I highly recommend it. It, Like I said, it has gotten me out of quite a few jams. Um, and I just think it's a really good thing to have just in case. It's like a generator. I mean, you know, there's so many people that'll say... Oh, uh, you know, I, I used the generator once. Well, you used it once. So it apparently you needed it once. You might need it twice. So it's good it's good insurance to have. And for forty nine dollars, you can't you can't beat it. I mean, charge it up, put it in your glove box, put it in your cargo box, put it in your backpack when you ride or whatever you do. It's really good insurance. Um the second thing is a battery operated air pump. Um, there's an air pump that I use uh, that I got on Amazon. I'm trying to find the link here. Uh, let's see, here we go. It was $39, $39 on Amazon. And it has nearly the same features as this does, uh, as this, 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 Backpack, this this battery pack, sorry, excuse me. Um, it has output to charge your your cell phone. It has a light on it. Um, same same feature as this, but it also has the air pump. I've used that thing to pump up my trailer tires, which take 90 pounds. I mean, it's gonna sit there and run for a few minutes and it's gonna get hot, but it did it. Uh, we carry that on the trail. We had a, uh, one of the guys that rides with us he took a stick, probably about that big, through his tire. Luckily, we had plugs with us. We, you know, we normally never ride without them. And he was able to plug, you know, the heck out of that tire. Luckily, we had the, you know, the air pump. Um, was able to pump that tire back up and keep going. So, I'm going to have links in the description down below. Um, not only to the portable battery pack but also to the portable air pump as well. There's a ton of things that you could think of as far as riding on trails that are super important to have with you. A third one is obviously a first aid kit. You really should. You should have a first aid kit, you know, with a tourniquet kit, a blood clot, um, blood clot, click, blood clot, say that three times fast, blood clot kit. Um, but again, uh, these are just some things that we, that I carry with me. Um, because there's been quite a few riders that ride with us that have needed either a jump um, or they've needed air either before we ride or out on the trail. And it's just some good things to have. So again, check out the links. Um, if you feel free to click those, uh, we get a small commission from that. It does not change your purchase price. It helps us to help build the channel. We're trying to get some new gear for our guys, we're looking into a camera. That's number one, um, which will allow us to bring better content. Um, there is one more thing that I'm going to be reviewing in the near future. Um, but we'll save that for then. So anyway, thank you. Like, subscribe. We appreciate all your support. Any questions, hit me up in the comments. And uh, God bless. See you.